Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another episode of this Ducati build series. We've got the Ducati V4 on the lift and we are going to be removing the uh, stock spark plugs and replacing them with the brand new set of the NGK spark plugs, the OEM type for this bike, nothing special. Uh, so I'll walk you through the process of removing and reinstalling the spark plugs. Uh, I did run it. I did run into a problem while pulling these out. Um, I'll step you guys through kind of uh, the trials and tribulations of this project. So we got the back two, and we have the front two, and I'll get you guys set up on the tripod and try to get you a good angle as I remove uh, both sets. So front and rear. You got four spark plugs total. If you guys didn't already know that. And like I said, stay tuned and uh, I'll walk you guys through this. All right, guys, so changing out the spark plugs on the Ducati V4, some of the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 12 point, uh, 12 point, 12 millimeter socket. You're gonna make sure that you have thin walled uh, deep socket for this application. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, extension for your socket. I used a uh, six inch and a three inch. You're gonna need a little swivel head adapter for your socket, torque wrench if you want. And I use this little magnetic reach tool and then obviously some uh, spark plugs. This is the uh, Ducati branded NGK spark plugs. Like I said, uh, back to the socket, you're gonna need a 12 point 12 millimeter socket for this and it needs to be a thin wall to drop down the uh, inner shaft of that spark plug uh, cavity so what I tried originally was just using my 12 millimeter and it did not drop in that lower section that cavity so I was playing around grab the next size smaller um, socket out of my toolbox which was 11 millimeter and I mic'd that out, and it mic'd out to about, I don't know, 6'2", 6'2", So, took my 12 millimeter 12 point, because I could not find one anywhere online, that was 12 point, thin walled, deep socket. So I took my 12 millimeter socket to my friend, and I had him take it to his lathe, and he took it down a little bit more than needed. He went all the way down to uh, 605. And I knew with that I had plenty of clearance. The only problem was I was a little worried about the thin wall and how tight these spark plugs were in and how tight they needed to be if I was going to deform this uh, socket any. So... It actually held up, so if you know anybody with a lathe, you may need to do this if you can't find a socket that's at least 0.62 to get yourself into that cavity. That's a uh, 12 millimeter socket, 12 point. That Today we're gonna remove the spark plugs from this uh, Ducati V4. Alright guys, so we're at the back of the bike, got the tank removed, 
got access to the uh, rear two spark plugs. We're gonna pull these out. First we're gonna pull the coil packs out and then we'll access the uh, spark plugs below. So I'll give you a little uh, close up to what we're looking at after I pull these out. So this is a uh, five millimeter socket screw. Put the camera a little too close. So I've already pulled this uh, this out before to see what I was working with and to see if my socket set actually reached inside. So the spark plugs are a 12.12 millimeter socket. And the set that I have, the diameter of the socket did not access deep down below to actually grab that spark plug. So a uh, buddy of mine at work took my uh, 12 millimeter socket to the lathe and actually turned this to 0 0.605. And this actually fits a little bit loose inside that channel down below. I think I might um, about 0.62 gives you good clearance so this is 0.605 and it drops down grabs that uh spark plug but you can see the the thin wall on this 12.12 .12 millimeter socket so i was a little worried about how tight the uh spark plugs were in there if it was going to deform as i was backing them out but I just pulled out the front two without any issues. They were in there pretty snug, but as you can see, my socket has not deformed yet. <laughs> I still have the two to go, so I'll keep my fingers crossed. I've been using a, uh, a little uh, adapter. It's kind of a uh, mid-reach and a swivel head, and that gave me the access to a uh, flex inside that front cavity but back here, I don't need that. I can drop straight in. And I'll give you guys a little visual of what we're working with. All right, so we'll move on to the next one. So I'll bring you guys back around uh, when I start putting those back in. I'll post the uh, torque settings on those if you're interested. But we'll go ahead. I've got some uh, Ducati spark plugs and we'll get those installed. So stay tuned. All right. So we got the new uh, set of Ducati spark plugs or from Ducati. They're actually uh, NGK spark plugs, but... Ducati slaps their label on there and charges you uh, five times more than what they should normally cost. But hey, wanted to make sure that we got the right ones in there and I couldn't find any NGKs around. So I had to go through uh, Ducati and, and pick these up. So here we are, huh? So I'm going to get these uh, pulled out and I'll show you guys as I drop them in and go about tightening them. So I always go by, you know, tightening the spark plugs up about hand tight and then 
from there going about another I don't know quarter turn half turn and calling it good um, I was checking around for specs on this bike and what I found was about 20 newton meters which is about 177 inch pounds seems a little bit of excessive but we'll see how that goes with kind of the feel when I um, I'm tightening them up so like I said uh, stay tuned here we go all right so we'll start with the back half this is the easy side easy access um, I'll lower these in with the magnet that way we're not dropping them in if you uh, don't have a magnet little trick is to uh, kind of run some uh, paper towel inside your socket and that way you get a little bit of a bite keeps the socket in place and then you can uh, lower it down without dropping these sockets these are pre gap so you don't want to deform you don't want to deform the uh, your gap on the spot uh, spark plug <clears throat> All right, so I'll lower this guy in there. Start tightening it up. I kind of got a bad angle with my hands right there. the same thing I'll get this tightened up hand tight kind of my normal practice go hand tight just snug and then I'll see about the whole half turn with 17 and a half Newton meters and what that feels like All right, we'll go with that. About 18. They were in there tight when I pulled them out. It took a little bit of effort. I was a little worried about my socket holding up because like I said, I, I thin walled it out. When I pulled these out, these have this grease. Oops, where am I at? When I pulled these uh, spark plugs out, these had this uh, grease, little electrode grease around the uh, the cap here. I don't have any, but I'm going to put some on after I get some at the store. So I'll pull these boots off and uh, maybe just dab some in the, the boot here. And then as I apply it, it'll cover that electrode. All right, so that's the back half. Let's move the camera around to the front half and I'll uh, let you guys see what I'm doing. Hold tight. All right, for this one, guys, I'm gonna try the old uh, paper towel in the spark, or in the uh, socket technique to hold the spark plug in. And as you can see, that'll allow me to Kind of maneuver this down and then I'll pull it back out and then I'll remove the uh, the spark plug out so let me move these lines around that way I can get in here give you a nice little angle so you may not see what I'm doing as far as down the shaft but I'll give you an idea of what's going on
a little bit of paper towel and a spark plug. I'm cinched in there just enough. What I do is I fish it down, give it a few little uh, turns, let the threads bite, and then I pull back this uh, socket, pull out my uh, paper towel. I don't want any of the paper towel getting wrapped in the threads and causing an issue there. And I drop. Alright, so those are in there. And let me get this hooked back up. Might need to move this one out of the way. Okay. All right, guys, so there you have it. Spark plugs are back in. I'm gonna drop these screws back in with the washer. Just kind of hand tighten them. Like I said, I gotta run to the uh, automotive store, pick up some of that, uh, that grease and then I'll pull these back out, grease those up, and then I'll cinch these bolts back down. And I'm just going, uh, basically just uh, about a quarter turn past snug on these. These are just, these are just holding the, uh, the boot down, so you don't need to go crazy with the torque settings on these, but You guys do what you feel is best for your bike this is all i'm doing on this one all right so repeat the same for the back half so stay tuned guys hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you on the next one